Good morning, folks. I want you to hit the like button today, but don't do it now. I want to earn that thumbs up by the end of the show. Today's a day for remembering why we keep eyes open. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star. There is no flaring activity due to the lack of sunspots, and the two coronal holes here with the filament between them continue their turn. The solar wind is undergoing an intensification this morning. Density rises in orange and then purple, the plasma speed. It is the leading edge of the coronal hole streams, obviously the leading smaller opening impacting first now, and as we heard yesterday, the earthquake risk is still high from them. Just a few hours after the news, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake struck 600 kilometers beneath Fiji at the transition zone of the mantle. It originally came in around 8.1 but was downgraded from there. The blot echo wind map on quakewatch.net showed signatures from the numerous transition blot echoes preceding the big one about as maxed out as that factor could get. And of course, we had the atmospheric signal, the low pressure cells. Imagining today's OLR update will hint at the region as well. Global electric circuit connection there from deep inside the earth up to the ionosphere. And we also had considerable activity in the Americas, Panama, Ecuador, and Chile. With those last two being low velocity zone blood echoes themselves where the mantle hits the asthenosphere. Let's take a brief look at Hurricane Florence in the Atlantic, major lightning signatures from the core of the storm there, and while the GFS model has only slight impacts at the east coast in its forecast, this is the Euro model, and the track not only has landfall but entry into the states, and all while the Caribbean will be taking a major storm of their own. As we see Hawaii still under the gun in that forecast model, please remember that these look well ahead in time and we will keep updating each day. Going back and forth for a moment between the maximum and minimum temperature marks for the last month in the United States. In addition to the mix of above and below average, we once again see the maximum temperatures as being more tame while the lows are hotter, indicating a day-night spread is lessening and the temperatures are fluctuating less wildly. Up next, it's Jupiter's strange magnetic field. It is being discussed online as having a third magnetic pole, but that's not really the best description. It's merely a highly magnetic portion of the planet that happens to be where the L shells connect. The same way we have the South Atlantic anomaly, Bermuda Triangle, and Dragon's Triangle magnetic anomalies here on Earth, and they are distinctly different from the actual dipole magnetosphere genesis, that is likely what we have on Jupiter as well. Up next, we're seeing what scientists believe was a major galactic collision where one galaxy smashed through another one, leaving a ring shape of X-ray returns, empty central region due to the collision clearing. But let's back up a bit in time to the start of galaxies. At some point as the material is coming together, there is a turn-on moment for the active galactic nucleus and the winds blowing outward clear much of the lighter and electromagnetically vulnerable material. It is only the remnant leftover stuff that makes the galaxy at the end of the day, and of course, once activated, the active galactic nucleus continues blasting outward. It's just like solar wind, except in this case, it's the galactic wind. And scientists have just spotted it clearing the inner region of a very distant galaxy. Nice light point with a clear hole in the center. Lastly, on the news front, a topic we hit every couple weeks. Turns out yet another pesticide isn't so helpful for life. Only this time it wasn't tested on pests, it was tested on vertebrate animals, and brain development was significantly hindered even at the low doses currently considered safe and to which we are all regularly exposed. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. Hopefully that was the major quake energy release, but those coronal holes are still around. Very much appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open no fear. Be safe, everyone.